welcome to online classes this is ravi chandra sir the subject is accountancy topic is ratio analysis okay so already we are discussing some problems based on the liquidity ratios so one more problem we have to see see sometimes the problem they will give like this you know so we are seeing this question this is question working capital is showing to 7 lakhs 20000 see what is the working capital actually current assets minus current liabilities current assets minus current liabilities is the working capital so they gave the information of working capital next creditors they gave 40000 creditors they gave 40000 other current liabilities other other current liabilities they gave okay so that is 2 lakhs other current liabilities means this is also current liability creditors is also current current liability and other current liabilities that means that means this 40000 plus this 2 lakhs comes under the current liabilities 40 plus 2 lakhs 2 lakhs 40 current liability so based on this information what we have to find out we have to find out the current ratio calculate the current ratio so write the solution calculate the current ratio put the heading calculate the current ratio first you write the formula current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities or current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities in the exam you don't write like this in the exam you don't write like this this is the correct method you have to write current ratio detailed you have to write current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities okay so in this problem current assets we don't know current liabilities some information is there based on that we have to find out okay so see current liabilities is equals to creditors plus other current liabilities this is one formula current liabilities is equals to creditors plus other current liabilities so here creditors is there 40000 and other current liabilities is there 2 lakhs okay now so creditors 40000 you take other current liabilities you take the 2 lakhs then the total will become 2 lakhs 40000 is the current liability okay so now we find the current liability but how can we find the current assets by using the one more formula that is the working capital working capital formula is working capital formula is working capital is equals to current assets minus current liabilities see in this problem this is very important formula working capital is equals to current assets minus current liabilities in this problem working capital is there available current liabilities is also available if we know the two amounts we can find easily the the third amount so write down working capital is 7 lakhs 20000 current assets we don't know minus current liabilities is the 2 lakhs 40000 you write here okay next current assets is equals to so current assets is equals to working capital plus current liabilities this is also one more formula current assets is equals to working capital plus current liabilities is equals to 7 lakhs 20000 is the working capital current liabilities is the 2 lakhs 40000 So seven lakhs twenty plus two lakhs forty total comes to nine lakhs sixty thousand. So this is about the current assets. So current liabilities we know, current assets we know. So write down the formula. Current ratio is equals to current assets divided by current liabilities. So nine lakhs sixty thousand divided by two lakhs forty thousand. So the answer is four is to one. Actually, what is the ideal current ratio? Two is to one. So this is more satisfactory. Next, one more problem we will discuss. Okay, uh, we will discuss one more problem based on this question. Calculate current ratio. What we have to find out current ratio from the following information. So they gave the working capital. So working capital means current assets minus current liabilities. That is the one lakh fifty thousand. So they gave the total debts. Total debts three lakh twenty five thousand. Long term debts two lakhs fifty thousand. Here you have to go. Understand one problem, one thing. Total debts means total debts two lakhs twenty five thousand. Long term debts is the two lakhs fifty. So that means this two lakhs fifty already included in this. From the this two lakhs twenty five thousand already this two lakhs fifty thousand is in 
included. So now what we have to do to find out the current ratio, we require the current assets and current liabilities. But here current assets information is not there, current liabilities information is also not there. So by using the some other formulas, we can uh, we can do this problem. So write the solution, calculation of current ratio, calculation of current ratio, write the formula, current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities or current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities. In the exam, you don't write like this. The exam, you have to write like this one. Next, full formula, you have to write. So, uh, for this, what we will do? Uh, first of all, we have to understand the, what is the total debts? What is the equity? Okay, now. So, by drawing the balance sheet, we can understand easily. So, like this, you have to draw the balance sheet. This is the balance sheet. So, these are the liabilities. This is the assets. First, coming to the asset side. So these are the non-current assets and current assets. The total is the called total assets. Okay, non-current assets plus current assets is equals to total assets. Total assets is equals to total liabilities. Total assets is equals to total liabilities. So this side. Now we are discussing about the liability side. There are the three heads are there. Shareholder funds, non-current liability and current liability. Shareholder funds, non-current liability, current liability. So, for this problem, we have to find out this amount and we have to find out this amount. Okay. So, shareholder funds is called equity. Shareholder funds is called equity. So, this non-current liability plus current liability, this this combinedly called as total debt. Okay. Non-current liability and current liability. Combinedly called as total debt. In our problem, total debt is there, 3,25,000. Okay. In our problem, the total debt is the 3,25,000. Okay. But long term, this is the long term debt. No? So, this information is there. That is the 2,50,000. The remaining amount is the, the remaining amount is the current liability. Okay, so in this problem, these two are called as total debt. Okay, the total debt is 3,25,000. Long term debt, this amount is 2,50. The total is 2,25,000. From that, you deduct this amount, then you will get this amount. So, 3,25,000 minus 2,50. Then you will get the 75,000. So, uh, like this, we have to understand. So, uh, by this uh, uh, balance sheet what you have to understand assets are showing non current assets and current assets the total is total assets total assets is equal to total liabilities total li in the total liabilities shareholder funds we have to include non current liabilities we have to include current liabilities we have to include this is called equity this portion is called total debt so this will help in um, further problems okay next write down now what we have to find out current liabilities we have to find out so write the current liabilities is equals to total debts minus long term debts. Here total debts are showing 3,25,000, long term debts are showing 2,50. Now the current liability is the 75,000. Okay, now what we have to do? Current liabilities we find. Now we have to find out the current assets. So in this problem, some link is there, working capital information is there. Working capital is the current assets minus current liabilities. That information is there. So, working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. We know the working capital. We know the current liabilities. So, we have to find out the current current assets. So, working capital is 1,50,000. Current assets you write as it is. Current liabilities is the 75,000. So, current assets is equal to working capital plus current liabilities. This formula you have to remember. Current assets is equal to working capital plus current liabilities. Working capital is 1,50,000. And current liability is 75,000. The total current assets are the 2,25,000 is the current assets. So, this is one information. This is the another information. So, current assets divided by current liabilities. Okay. Write the formula. Current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities is equal to 2,25,000 divided by 75,000. So, now we got the answer 3 is to 1. So, normally, 
the ideal ratio is the 2 is to 1 but this is showing more so this is good so like this we have to do the problems and uh, we practice more problems based on this sum wherever some some of the form, new formulas are there now based on that you have to practice the more problems thank you